This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hey, good evening everyone. I'm Whitney Clark and here are the latest stories we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom on this Saturday night. When the sun came up this morning, we got a look at some of the damage that was done after protests in downtown Phoenix last night. There were police cruisers smashed, the tires punctured, businesses vandalized and windows broken. Two people were arrested and booked into the Maricopa County Jail just yesterday. Phoenix police tell us Michael Lane admitted to breaking the window of a police car Thursday night. He's facing a handful of charges. Andrew Givens is facing charges for assaulting a police officer. We know eight officers were also hurt. More pr protests are planned for Saturday night. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams had this warning this afternoon. If the activities of the evening turn criminal, officers will and must take action to protect the safety of everyone involved. To be clear, the level of criminal behavior we saw last night will not be tolerated today. We will be following what's going on both on air and on the free AZ Family mobile app. The other big story tonight, a brush fire is burning in Cave Creek. At least 750 acres have burned near Cave Creek Road and Carefree Highway. Around 10 buildings have been lost so far, including some homes, but no injuries to tell you about. Evacuees are being sent to the nearby Cactus Shadows High School. And it is dry and it is hot outside. We are going to give you a look at your seven day forecast. Take a look at this tomorrow, a high of 109. If we look further on into the week, Friday, it looks like we have a high of 101 and then 103 on Saturday. Stay cool out there, drink lots of water. And for more updates on stories throughout the evening, you can always download the Arizona's Family News app and check out our app on your Roku device. I'm Whitney Clark. Have a great night.